Good morning everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to assembly today. It's Friday. I don't normally do an assembly on a Friday for you but today's a rather special day and hopefully as you arrived on the path this morning you were reminded about what is special and significant about today. I've got some letters here that hopefully you can just about see that will remind you of what's important about today. But before we talk about that anymore, let's light our candle to remind ourselves Jesus is the light of the world and the significance of that at our very special church school. Okay, so our candle is burning bright. I'm going to pop this up with my Noah's Ark here. You can see that. Okay, so our assembly today is about harvest. Now harvest is a really special time of year and it's particularly special where we live. We see tractors zooming up and down our country lanes, bringing in the crops at the end of a summer spent growing. And it's lovely to see the change in the fields at this time of year. Now our assembly today is exploring a little bit about why we have asked you all to bring in donations today into school because we'd like you to know a little bit about where those donations are going. So, we're going to start off by looking at our word harvest. And I'm going to give you some challenges this morning. So you'll be asked to stop the film on a couple of occasions and do some really careful thinking. <clears throat> okay, there's something very special about our word harvest, something very clever about it because there are lots of words inside the word harvest and so we're going to play some games. So the first game we're going to play is seeing if you can rearrange the letters <clears throat> to make a word that describes where we all live. So we've got the letters H-A-R-V-E-S-T. Can you now Stop the film and see if you can make a word to describe where we live. How did you get on? Okay, let me share with you the word. Hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> so the word earth. And that reminds us that harvest is a time when we celebrate all the really good things that our very clever earth supplies us with. Now I wonder whether you can have a think about some of the things that you have seen growing in the earth um, and on our earth around Fishbourne over the summer. Pause the film and see how many things you can list that you have seen growing on our earth during this time. Now what's really interesting is that our earth has the capacity to grow enough food for every single person living on it. But sadly, not every single person has enough food. And now I'm going to ask you to look for another word within our letters that spell harvest to describe what we call it when people don't have enough food to eat. Pause the film and see if you can find that word. Okay, what did you come up with? I'm going to move a couple of my letters around this time, see if you came up with the same as I did. <clears throat> so this word is to starve. Now quite a lot of us use the word starve a lot. We describe what it feels like to starve just before playtime when we reach into our bags to find a piece of fruit or just before lunchtime as we're about to devour our packed lunch. We say we're starving all of the time. Now, 
our understanding of the word starving is a very different one to many, many children across the world and across the community within which we live. Now, which areas of the world do you know where there are children who are starving? How about people within our own community? How about people within our own village? Why is it that some people might go hungry, both here and abroad? Think about some of the reasons why people in our own village might go hungry. It might be that somebody has lost their job. It might be that somebody is poorly and not able to get to the shops. It might be that an unexpected bill comes along. Maybe a car has broken down. That means that there isn't enough money to buy the weekly shop. It might be that a cooker has broken. There are all sorts of reasons why somebody may find themselves going hungry and indeed may be starving. Overseas there might be all sorts of other reasons. Some of the things we've talked about in our assemblies before. Maybe there's a war happening in a country or there's not enough rain or there's too much rain. There are all sorts of reasons why people may go hungry and why people may need a little bit of help from time to time. Now, one of the things that's very sad about the world in which we live is that there is enough food, but the difficulty is that it's not distributed equally amongst the people who live here. And we ask really, what can be done? Now, I'm going to ask you to look at my letters one last time to see if you can find the letters that might come up with a solution for what we could do about that unequal distribution. So take a moment, look at my letters and have a think. I'm really interested to know what some of the ideas are that you have come up with. I'm going to share mine. So how about sharing? Now many of you this morning will have been superstars and brought in gifts to share with other members of our community. Gifts of long life foods that don't go off quickly but can be stored in a special warehouse and looked after by the team at Chichester Food Bank. Now for those of you who were in school last year you may well remember we had a visitor from um, Chichester Food Bank who came in to talk to us a little bit about what would happen to all of our produce once it was delivered. I just want to say a big thank you to those of you who brought in food to share today. Later on today I'm going to be putting all of those donations into my car and I am going to be driving them into Chichester where I will be delivering them to the food bank. As a result of your generosity, it means that a few more people who were starving when they woke up this morning won't be by the time they go to bed this evening. And that is an amazing way of making our world a better place to be. Thank you, everybody, for your generosity. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for setting out to make the world a better place to be. Let's just recap before we finish those four words that we had this morning. So the first of those words was harvest, which was a reminder to us about how amazing the earth, which was the second of our words, is in providing us with everything that we need in order to be able to survive. The third of our words was starve, which means to be extremely hungry. Um, and the fourth of those words is the real corker of the words, which is to share. And I want to thank you for sharing with the people of Chichester and the surrounding area your generous gifts today. Children, we're going to finish our assembly here, but I'm going to ask you to take a few moments in your classroom to pray together before you carry on with the rest of your day. Thank you for listening so carefully. I'm going to blow out our candle now.
and I wish you a happy end to your day and a happy end to your week and I look forward to seeing you all later. Bye bye little fish. <laughs>